Hello everyone. Um, today's video is about autism and reading. Now, reading is something that affects autistic people differently. Some autistic people, pe people on the autistic spectrum often have different levels of reading ability. Some autistic people can read extremely well. Some autistic people are reading books earlier than what children typically do learn to read books. But there are, however, other autistic people that do have difficulties with reading. A number of autistic people will have co-occurring dyslexia that accompanies autism, or they'll have um, other specific learning difficulties or learning disabilities that impact their ability to read. Now, for me personally, I do have some reading difficulties. Anytime I read something out loud, I tend to get my words mixed up. I tend to stumble. I tend to misread words. In fact, in general, whether I read out loud or not, I tend to misread stuff a lot. And I used to go to this night class, this English night class, and I remember sometimes sometimes I'd read things out loud there, and I would tend to get my words mixed up, and I tend, I mean, I get my words mixed up anyway, but when it comes to reading especially, I tend to misread a lot of, misread certain words as other words and that kind of thing. And that te that tended to happen a lot. And that still happens a lot for me personally. Um, but another problem I have with reading, and probably a bigger problem, is that I struggle to actually read and process the information at the same time as reading. To actually read and take in the words. Like, to read and fully understand everything that I'm reading is actually quite a challenge for me personally. Um, that is something which I do, I do tend to struggle with personally. It's not like I'm incapable of doing it full stop. Like simple sentences, obviously I can read fine and, and understand what, what, I can understand what the sentence is saying. But if there's a lot of information to take in, then I tend to struggle to process it all. I tend to struggle to actually read and take in what it is that I'm reading. Especially if there's a lot. Like, for example, when I was in this night class, sometimes they'd, again, ask me to read a whole thing. And then I would also, I might read the whole thing out, the whole poem out, or whatever it was I was given. And I wouldn't have the faintest idea what I had just read. Because I'm so focused on on actually reading the words. I don't really don't really think about what the words are actually saying. As a whole, I do tend to struggle to read books. For example, um, a lot of books there are there are books that I literally started reading ten years ago and I still haven't finished to this day. Like that is how slow I am with reading, and how a lot of the time I just kind of struggle to really take in the information from books. There are still certain books I have kind of been able to enjoy though. Um, some of books about autism I've been able to enjoy, like Luke Jackson wrote some books that I was that did really interest me. So if it's a subject of interest in some cases, then I'm, I may be able to um, take in the information enough. But if I'm not interested, then it's very difficult. Even if I am interested, fictional books, I tend to struggle to actually read a lot of the time and struggle to take in. But I am able to un enjoy them more in audio form. I've listened to a lot of audiobooks so like like I've listened to quite a high number and when it comes to audio I'm able to enjoy and take in the stories more but they but they need to be dramat they need to be either dramatized by uh, by acting actors playing the characters or read by a professional voice actor who puts on voices for the characters it has to be one of those in order for me to properly enjoy it if it's read in a very monotone voice and with no emotion at all then I won't be able to enjoy it because I just won't be able to um focus at all and I'll just be really bored stiff. Um, one example is when I was put on an audiobook of Winston Churchill and I was so bored stiff and I just could not take it in at all because it was read in such a monotone way. Anyway, I hope this video helped you to gain a bit more of an, an insight into autism and reading. Um, thank you for watching. Please do let me know your experiences of reading in the comments below. And do hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, please. And um, give the video a big thumbs up because it really helps encourage me when you like the videos. It really helps show me that I'm doing a good job. So thank you all for watching. Take care. Goodbye for now.